Gay Ron Matt from Hattie Garage here today. We are going to do a service on Maryland, so it means it's time to service the LS1. So we're going to change the oil, change the oil filter. Just a simple way of how to do it and how I do it. So join me and stay tuned as we work out on Little Maryland here. As a due for her service, it's a 190,000 k service, so she's getting old. So join me. Okay, so what we're going to do is before we begin anything, the car is warm, I just took it for a bit of a drive before, we're going to use this Penrite engine flush. I just want to get all of the crap out of this engine, it's been ticking, it's been making a lot of noises. I want to get a fresh start, so we're going to use this, use this right here if I can get it in the bloody screen. So use the engine flush, basically pour the, all the contents of this in um, before you start doing any work. Let the engine run for about 10 minutes and then we will um, begin on actually servicing the car so then we can drain it. So, Alright, let's begin with that. Okay, so the car's ran for 10 minutes now, uh, we're back. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get underneath the car, we're gonna take off the pan, um, or the, the bash tray underneath, and then we will actually um, drain the oil out of this. So let's begin. Okay, so now we're gonna take off the drip pan, which should be, might be a different size actually. I don't know if you can see this. There's a bit of, <laughs> bit of collateral damage on my face. It's safe to say it's not um, exactly cold. All right. So now that the oil, oh, what you got? C one sixty. All right. Now that. Damn. All right, now that the oil's been drained, what I'm going to do is um, we're going to put in a new filter. This is a Ryko filter, they're made in Australia. Um, very good quality product, um, probably better than um, OEM. So this one is, the code is a Z160, um, perfect for an LS1 engine. So we're going to chuck this in, pull the old, we'll get the old one out, put this one in, and then we will start putting in the new oil. So let's get on it. Oh, now. That took a lot, a lot longer than I thought it would. Look at that. I've bent it beyond belief. It is so, so badly damaged at the moment that that oil filter was stuck on there so tight. I just, I even broke my tool. Look at this. Broke the bloody oil filter tool. It's the tool that's bloody supposed to fix it. Anyway, I've got it off now. We're going to get this other one on, and we're not going to have it as tight as the mechanics have put it on previously, so. Alright, let's get on with it. Might clean up first. So what we want to do, just going to put a bit of oil on there, just on the ring to give it a good seal. 
and we'll pop it onto the car. So what we want to do, is the oil filter's just back here. Just gonna pop it up here. Now what you want to do, is you want to get these, unlike the other one, that was mega mega tight for future. I'm gonna tighten this up, hand tight. <laughs> it's like it's pretty much as much as you can physically do yourself. And then like in the next couple of days after driving it, just check, make sure there's no oil leaks. There we go. So then you definitely know So it's just there. So just check around it, make sure it's not leaking. So you can sort of see the oil just there. That's from um, when I removed the old one. So basically that's it. Um, now we'll get the car lowered down, fill it up with oil. All right guys, so just got the oil filter on. We've got the uh, bash tray underneath back on as well. So now we're going to start with the oil. So we're going to use uh, 10W50. I'm going to a higher grade of oil, a um, bit more weight in it because I want it to sort of quieten it down a bit as it's getting a bit older. So, go do that. So, let's begin. Okay, so, basically, what we're looking at doing is we are actually going to um, use all six litres. Uh, most of these engines take about six litres of oil. So basically we've got it all ready to go, just got to start it up and let it run for a little bit and then basically we're done. So I'll get all that done up behind the scenes, I mean if anything happens I'll add this to the end of this video. Thank you so much all for watching, I uh, appreciate everyone that supports the, the channel, also supports the Facebook and the Instagram pages under the Panda Garage, um, you can see the links down below. Um, also I'll try and get all the links to the descriptions below for the um, Penrite oil here. Uh, also the Penrite engine flush, the Ryko oil filter, uh, any, anything else that anyone needs to know, just leave the questions down below or on the uh, social media pages. So, um, yep, appreciate it. So thank you all so much for watching. My name's Matt, this has been Panda Garage, and I'll see you next time.